flying Turkish Airlines from Atlanta here to Istanbul. Our flight is boarding out at gate F3, but business class boards in the gate next to it, which is F3A. My friend Auburn is sitting in front of me in seat 6A and I'm in 7A. Even number seats have more privacy because they're closer to the window and further from the aisle. So if you want a window seat, pick an even number seat. A few minutes into boarding, we are served juices given our menus and his and her amenity kits. Auburn's super excited about the hair tie that was included in the amenity kits. Other than that, the amenity kit seems pretty average safety video comes on and then we were lined up for takeoff. Shortly after takeoff, given a warm towel and I thought it was kind of odd that they came around and made everybody's bed before dinner service. Dinner service starts with warm nuts and similar to Qatar Airways there's a fake candle and my candlelight dinner high above the clouds begins with a Turkish meze. These are the super unique and cute salt and pepper shakers. And for my main dish, I got the seed food platter, which had two different types of fish, a side of spinach and some potatoes as well. I got the Turkish meze platter for dessert as well. And it comes with baklava. There's a lot of hype when it comes to Turkish Airlines food, and I think it lives up to the hype. After that meal, it's time to catch some sleep. The thing I hate about this seat are the seat controls are kind of hidden and they're kind of difficult to use. With two hours left in the flight, the lights are turned on and breakfast is served. With one hour left in the flight, the flight attendant comes around with Turkish coffee and I've never had Turkish coffee before. So this would be my first time. I think a lot of people don't like the grittiness of Turkish coffee, but I kind of like it. And it came with a little Turkish delight and it kind of made a mess. and gentlemen and dear children welcome to istanbul airport meeting point of the world pulling into the gate i thought the turkish airlines flight was pretty impressive the food was really good and i still can't believe i paid 45,000 points and 180 dollars in taxes and fees for this flight stick around to the end and i'll tell you how i booked this using credit card points and what do you think of the flight it was great immigrations and customs so that we can hop on our domestic flight over to Kayseri? 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 So. Clearing immigrations and doing a domestic transfer here in Istanbul was very easy. We had about two and a half hours before our next flight, so we went to the Turkish Airlines domestic lounge. Favorite thing, I actually got a decent amount of sleep on this flight. I don't know what it was. I don't know if it's more quiet or the bed was just comfortable. I don't know. Least favorite thing though was the pillows. Definitely think they could use an upgrade. After the degree, the pillows were pretty bad. Super floppy, super flimsy. Didn't provide that much support. The lounge was well stocked with a bunch of drink options, but one weird thing I noticed was that Coke and Pepsi were in the same fridge. There were conference rooms and food was just light mezes and sandwiches. And we're just waiting for our gate number and waiting for our flight to board to our final destination. I hate this idea of like having to wait for the gate number and then like makes me anxious. Me too. Yeah. We're so used to America. Right. Just tell me the gate number and then I'll go check if it's there first and then, then I'll go to the lounge <laughs> and then just go back to it. You gotta make sure the gate's there. Right, you gotta definitely make sure the gate's there. We got our gate number, and the cool thing about this lounge, you can access the boarding gates directly from the lounge. You just follow the signs, and they load you into a bus, and they take you out to your plane. It's 
something else that I find very interesting is that business class boards last. So they board everybody in economy first, and then they have business class passengers come on. The flight was only an hour and 15 minutes, but there was a meal service, and it's a legit full meal service with lamb chops, side dishes, and dessert as well. About an hour later, we landed in Kayseri and we found our driver and he drove us about an hour to our hotel. What a long travel day. That's 28 hours, I think. I'm gonna catch up on some sleep and I'll update you guys on where I'm at in the next vlog. So see you guys on the next one. As for how I booked this, Turkish airline charges 45,000 miles for their save reward tickets from the US to Europe. To earn Turkish miles and smiles, I transferred Capital One Venture miles, but you can also transfer city thank you points and built reward points to Turkish Miles and Smiles as well. Comment below if you would want a full step-by-step -step tutorial, and if you missed the last vlog, you should watch this video.